Hi everyone, this is Gina Crochet Gal. In today's video, hopefully I am in frame. In today's video, I am going to be showing you this amigurumi kitten pattern. Super, super cute. Okay. So first, let me show you the pattern. Now, I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, I googled this pattern. And um, I just typed in amigurumi kitten patterns because I wanted to find something quick and easy and fast. So this is one of the few patterns that came up. And this is a pattern by Amy Gaines. Super cute pattern. Um, she has two patterns in, listed here. This one here is the Sitting Gray Kitten. And then this one here is called... I'm back of this one. I printed on double two sides. This one's called Pouncing Siamese Kitten. I haven't done this one yet, but I do plan to. Now the reason I selected this one out of many patterns that I was looking at is because it has minimal, let's see, better, better one here, minimal pieces, okay? So when looking at it, it's got one, the head, two, the body, and of course the ears, two legs, and a tail, okay? So I decided to go ahead and do this one. So let me show you the first one. Now this, usually my first ones are my wonky ones. <laughs> this one's kind of funny looking. And the reason being is because I didn't stuff the head properly. Um, and the other ones, what I'm going to show you in a minute, same exact pattern, it's just I stuffed it differently. So this one, of course, I don't think is very cute, but it was great practice. Um, I love the pattern. So thank you, Amy. Um, this one here, I used button eyes and then just a quick stitch because I was practicing um, yarn for the nose and the whiskers and some um, floss for the for the mouth. But I really did enjoy working on this pattern, really super cute. And while I was working on it, I found this to be so cute. I thought that the size of the legs were going to be maybe 10 to 12 rows, but look at how cute. They're like little stubs. And she's sitting, you know, on her um, two front legs there. So I thought that was really cute. So that was the first one. So of course I had to make another one. And let me lay. I'm not going to sit down properly. Now the second one I did, which I absolutely love. This yarn is nice and firm. It's it was black. It was given to me by my aunt Ruth, and it has speckles you know, throughout, and I'm pretty sure you can see it, okay? Um, so the pattern calls for a G-hook. I did use a G-hook, and the size, the finished size is about six inches, okay, from top to bottom, from the top of the ears to the bottom. Super cute. They are really quick to work up, and I just really like how the body is. It kind of just kind of um, comes out this way. She's sitting on her bottom, and then there's the tail, and it, it just sits nicely like that. It's nice and firm. So on this one, I decided to um, use the googly eyes. And on the nose, I just um, used a dot of glue on the nonstick surface. I had some paper there that I used. So I just did a whole bunch of different sizes of glue dots. And then on the bottom of the glue dot, I just used a permanent marker, colored the bottom, and I think I even you know, colored up on top so it looks like a little nose. And then here I thought I would use the glue for whiskers and everyone seems to like it. I don't know if I like it or not. I'm not sure how much if I'm gonna do it again. I'm not sure. But anyways that's how this one is work. I think this is really cute. So that was number two. Love this yarn. And I don't I don't have the the names or labels or anything. So of course I like to make them smaller. So on this one here, it's the same yarn as the first one, I used a D hook and that reduced it in size by two inches. So this one's approximately four inches from top to bottom. And um, very cute, love it. Now this yarn is a softer yarn so it's not as you know firm, 
doesn't curl as much as the other one, but it's super, super cute. Now here, I did the glue dot thing again, colored the bottom with black permanent ink and also on the top, and I did the same thing with the nose. Super, super cute. I love this pattern. I really like how, you know, it's minimal pieces and um, it's, it's a quick workup. Okay? And again, the, the strands of the hot glue for that. Now, I really enjoy working on pieces that are one piece. You know, um, sometimes, I mean, it's, it's great to work these like this, um, but if I can modify a pattern so that I can sew one piece, at least the head and the body together, you know, I, I like to do that. So last night I was playing around with a pattern and I decided to try to work this up so that um, I can do it in one piece. Now, when you're doing, I'll show you with this one. Here's another one that I did. I haven't done the face or anything yet. I found some really cool cat eye patterns or tutorials that I want to try to start practice on, practicing on this one. So anyway, so, um, so instead of having two separate pieces here, I just decided to continue with the neck and then make it one piece. Now in this pattern, which is this section right here, when you begin the body, you work it from the bottom to the top, okay? So what I did is I tried to reverse the pattern to see if I can work it so that it comes out like this. Well, it wasn't too successful, but it's okay, it's workable. So let me show you what it looks like so far. Okay, so this is the head that's exactly the same as shown on the pattern. And with the exception as I kept going with the neck section, okay? And then I started working this pattern from the top to the bottom. So when I started doing the decreasing here, I marked it, okay? Because this actually is supposed to be the back of the kitten, like this, okay, like that. But I thought that it would look better this way with this particular pattern because it looks more like a front to me on this one because the back section here is going outward, okay? And after the last row, when you're doing the pattern, it's actually the beginning of the pattern, I couldn't find a way to start closing this up. I, I just couldn't think of a way to do it. So what I decided to do is, you know, fasten it off here and then make the circular bottom separately. Okay, and it comes out with the same number of stitches. I believe it is mm, uh, 20 or 21 uh, stitches. So after I stuff it, I hope I'm in frame. After I stuff it, I'm just gonna go ahead and stitch it like so. And then I'll go ahead and attach all the pieces. So it's just a test run just to see how it comes out. See if it looks similar. So yeah, that is what I have been working on. Um, so again, if anybody's interested in this pattern, it is Amigurumi, Amigurumi Kit Patterns. I'm getting tongue tied. Uh, by Amy Gaines. And there are two patterns listed on one free sheet okay so well anyone everyone thank you for watching I really appreciate you spending time with me and um, thank you to all my new subscribers I really appreciate that um, on my next video I will share an update on my cross stitch and some other things I've been dabbling in well thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day bye bye